I went down to buy a turkey tree, and all they have are things for Christmas. For Christmas already? I never expected to connect so deeply with a cartoon character as I have in this very moment. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Headband Maven, where today it is Thanksgiving. Now Thanksgiving doesn't seem to have the same number of TV specials that we would see on Halloween or Christmas. But one of the classic holiday specials from this time of year is Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. And since capitalism was kind enough to almost deprive us of a public airing of the Charlie Brown holiday specials this year, I thought it would be fun to go through and watch Charlie Brown Thanksgiving and use it as inspiration for a headband. The special opens in classic Peanuts fashion with Lucy setting up Charlie Brown to kick a football and what does he do? He runs at it, he tries to kick it, he misses, ends up flat on his back. Later, Charlie Brown gets a phone call from Peppermint Patty, who decides to invite herself and Marcy and Franklin over to Charlie Brown's house for Thanksgiving dinner. The one problem with that is Charlie Brown and his family will not be at their house. They will be at Charlie Brown's grandmother's. Charlie Brown is in complete dismay over this whole thing. I think I'm losing control of the whole world. Until Linus shows up and suggests that Charlie Brown throw a second Thanksgiving dinner before going to his grandmother's in order to satisfy Peppermint Patty. The number one question I have about this entire special is what the heck are the kids just doing hanging out at each other's houses on Thanksgiving? Maybe, maybe, maybe things are just different in my family or maybe things were different in 1973, I don't know. But in my household, Thanksgiving was a family holiday. I mean, if you've got no family to hang out on Thanksgiving, then like Peppermint Patty, you know, she said her dad was out of town. Okay, Peppermint Patty should go find someone to hang out with on Thanksgiving. But what is with Linus just showing up at Car Charlie Brown's house? And what were Marcy and Franklin doing at Peppermint Patty's? Like, shouldn't their parents, their family be like, you know, hanging out with them, having dinner with them? Again, maybe it's just me. In my house, Thanksgiving was a family holiday. You did family things on Thanksgiving. You would get up, you would watch the parade, and then depending on what the plan was, you would either spend the morning cleaning, getting ready for family to come over, or you'd be getting ready, you know, packing up what you were responsible for bringing to the family gathering wherever it was. We would spend most if not all of the day there, and then we would go home and we would put up the Christmas tree. That was what we did. It was all family time. All, all family. That's all it was. Obviously that's not quite the case this year, because the world is in chaos, but when I was a kid, that was the way things were. My parents would have never let me skip family dinner to go just hang out at somebody else's house. Like, so, so for that reason, like, that is the one thing in this special, and mind you, this special includes a beagle making Thanksgiving dinner. This is like the one thing that I just, I cannot wrap my brain around. And I know somebody's gonna tell me that, you know, the adults don't really exist in the Peanuts universe, they're just like the trombone, whatever. But still! So they have this plan to set up this early Thanksgiving dinner, and they put Snoopy in charge of everything. So he and Woodstock end up being the ones to dig out the table and chairs, set everything up, they're in the kitchen making dinner, which ends up being popcorn, and pretzel sticks, and toast, and jelly beans, and Peppermint Patty, who was expecting a full spread of turkey, and mashed potatoes, and cranberries, and all of the other fixings, was pissed. She ends up throwing a fit, and accuses Charlie Brown of not understanding what a real Thanksgiving is. So poor Charlie Brown shuffles off in despair. Here he's gone out of his way to try and accommodate Peppermint Patty because she invited herself over, but nothing went right. Marcy ends up being the one to talk some sense into her, reminding her that she invited herself over along with Marcy and Franklin. But of course, Peppermint Patty can't take responsibility for her own actions, so she has to send Marcy to apologize to Charlie Brown for her. She does eventually realize that she should apologize, so she does end up 
going and talking to him about it and it all ends up being water under the bridge. Now this all happens just in time for the clock to strike four, reminding Charlie Brown that he and his family are supposed to be at his grandmother's at 4.30. But because there are still so many people at his house, there's no way they're gonna make dinner on time. So Charlie Brown calls up his grandmother and explains the whole situation. And they all end up getting invited to Charlie Brown's grandmother's house for Thanksgiving dinner. So the special ends with them all piling in the back of the station wagon and driving off while singing over the river and through the woods. In the end, it cuts to Snoopy and Woodstock having their own Thanksgiving dinner outside of the doghouse, where Snoopy has prepared this gorgeous traditional uh, Thanksgiving turkey, which honestly, good for you, Snoopy. You, you did all of that work. You slaved in the oven. You got your ears shoved into a toaster and all you got was yelled at by some girl who was completely ungrateful for all of the work that you have done. So good for you, Snoopy. You deserve that. And so that ends the special. I will say I'm not like super crazy obsessed with the uh, Charlie Brown holiday specials. Um, but out of the out of like the three I think of, which is the Great Pumpkin and the Thanksgiving one and whatever whatever the Christmas one is called. The Thanksgiving one is the one that sticks out to me. And of course, the first thing I think of when I think of this particular special is the meal that Snoopy prepares for everyone. The popcorn, the pretzel sticks, the jelly beans, and the toast. So that is what I ended up taking inspiration from for this headband. I was able to find some fake popcorn garland and some pretzel buttons. I know it's supposed to be pretzel sticks, but since pretzel sticks aren't really like you don't look at it and immediately go, oh, that's a pretzel. I just, I decided I would go with like actual, you know, pretzel shaped pretzels. I didn't have as much luck looking for things for the jelly beans or the toast or like, you know, toast or bread, beads or buttons. Actually, when I kept looking for like bread, like I figured you, you know, somebody out there has got to make like slices of bread into like buttons or whatever. But every time I kept looking up, I kept finding DIYs for like, beads actually made out of bread, like a kid's craft kind of thing, and that's not, that's not what I was looking for. I don't know, maybe I was just looking in the wrong spot. So anyway, I ended up making my own out of polymer clay. I ended up using a one inch headband and covered it with a brown pattern fabric and then basically I just went completely crazy uh, hot gluing all of the components to it. I then wrapped it in a red ribbon and finished it off with some brown trimmings. <laughs> this, this headband is, it's, it's so extra. I, I can't even. Um, it's actually way heavier than I thought it would be. And the entire time I was making it, oh, it's so tight because of everything just like glued on top of it. I gotta adjust the camera here. So you can see it in its full glory. It's just, it's so heavy and there's just, I went a little overboard. It's not symmetrical in any way because I was not concerned with the aesthetic of this at all. And I think I got a little carried away because I feel like when I was making it, I was like, oh, you know, higher in the middle and then like kind of, you know, flattening out toward the bottom. But it just... <laughs> It just looks ridiculous, and I'm willing to <laughs> admit that. It's fine, it's fun, and it's silly, and honestly, with everything that's going on, I needed a laugh, and now I have a laugh. And <laughs> it was kind of fun to make. You know, I got to, I don't get to play with polymer clay very often, so that was kind of fun. And yeah, so it's just, it's just kind of fun, silly, stupid thing that I did to celebrate, I guess. And so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, happy, and safe Thanksgiving, and I'll see you next time.